In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Word called Write Tab Stops. If you've ever used a typewriter, you know the only type of tab stop that you had on a typewriter was a left tab stop, uh, which would align things on uh, the left side of the line. With computers, though, uh, we have more flexibility. Typewriters are mechanical. Basically, what happened was you would hit the tab key and it would slide over until it actually physically ran into a tab stop and then you would start typing and on the next line if you hit the tab it would take you to that same place and you'd start typing. Well with computers uh, you have more flexibility with tab stops. You can set a tab stop so that you can tab over to that point and then everything at that point will be right aligned. Okay. Uh, you can also Obviously, you can write a line text right now with, let me just take these two lines up here and we'll kind of forget about the, we'll get rid of the tab stops for, or the tab characters for a second. And let's take these two lines right here and select them. Then let's go to our home tab. And on the home tab, uh, let's say that we want that to be right aligned. So if I want stuff to be right aligned, now if I hit the enter key, the alignment is a paragraph formatting command and that carries over to the next paragraph. So whatever I keep on typing here is continue to be right aligned uh, until I change the alignment. So if all you care about is just lining stuff up on the right margin, then you don't even need to worry about right tab stops. But occasionally, you may want to align stuff up. Let's take these lines here and let's um, left align them. Occasionally, you may want to line stuff up, um, say, under a point in the middle of the line. Say, like right under that line right there, you can see the vertical line dropping down. Maybe I want the right edge of some text up against that line right there. To do that, what I have to do is I have to set a right tab stop at that position. And by default, you get a left tab stop. The, the symbol that's over here on the far left edge of the ruler uh, indicates what kind of a tab stop you will set if you click on the ruler. So the default is a left tab stop. If you pause the mouse there, you should get a little tool tip that says left tab. Uh, if you click on it once, uh, it changes to an upside down T. And if you pause the mouse again, your tool tip should tell you that's a center tab. Uh, if you click on it, Again, uh, it will give you a kind of a backwards L, a little square corner there, and it tells you that's a right tab stop. So let's go out here and let's set a right tab stop in our document. Just click on the ruler, and if this is the character that is visible when you click on the ruler, that is the type of tab stop that you will get. Now, a tab stop only works if you hit the tab character before the text that you want to align. So let's go to the beginning of this line here and hit the tab character, and it is right aligned underneath my right tab stop. Now let's go down the next line here and tab over and we get a tab character and it goes to the same place. Let's go to this one and tab over and let's go to this one and tab over. And because I had all those lines selected before I set the tab, the tab stop got set for all of those lines. So now if I select these lines and I decide that I don't really want them lined up on the right side there, but I want them lined up on the right side over at the four inch mark instead. All I have to do is select those lines, drag the tab stop marker, and they will automatically be realigned correctly at the new position. One more thing before we end this video. Um, sometimes when you are selecting text, let's, uh, let's change this last line here and let's change the tab stop on that one line to the three inch mark instead. Okay, so you may have lines that have different tab settings on them or paragraphs that have different tab stop settings on them. And let's now select these first three lines and you'll see the tab stop for these three lines is right there and it's visible and it's fairly dark. Uh, if I select the last line down here, you'll see that its tab stop is right there. Now, what happens if I select paragraphs that have different tab stop settings on them? Well, what happens is it shows you the tab stop settings for the first lines that are selected. Uh, you can still see the right tab stop mark there, but it is much lighter. And whenever you see a grayed out tab stop, what that's telling you is that that's a tab stop that's set for part of the lines you have selected, but it's not set for all of the lines you have selected. So if I go back now and deselect this last line, Watch what happens up here, and that should get significantly darker when I select these three lines, and it did. So be careful when you're selecting multiple lines that have different tab stop settings in them. Um, it's a little bit trickier, and you got to keep an eye on the tab stop settings up here on the ruler 
so that you know exactly what you're doing when you change those tab stops.